Hey guys, I am cooking dinner. It is Sunday night and I just wanted to come on here and show you real quickly in case anybody may be interested um, what I'm cooking. This is really easy and it's a good healthy meal. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. Um, please hit the subscribe button below and um, I do new videos every week and I do cooking and DIYs and all kinds of things. So anyways let's go ahead and jump in so i have here some boneless skinless chicken breast that i buy at um aldi's i want to say kirkland but it's kirkland brand i'll show you the bag and uh i think they are where'd i put the bag i think they're about six dollars okay wood chicken breast um and I like my chicken pan seared so what I do is I put some olive oil in here and um defrost my chicken breast and then once they're defrosted and I clean them then I put them into olive oil and I turn it on medium high heat and then I season them I used onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, black pepper. I don't use salt on my food. Um, this Lowry's garlic pepper is great. And then I also put this um, McCormick Montreal chicken seasoning. So I season them real good. And all you have to do is just let them pan sear until they get nice and brown on each side. And then they are good to go. I'm just cooking these two for myself. Um, my son is going to eat chicken tenders, so I've got those cooking in the oven. If you can see, let me see. Let me check this out. Uh, okay, I'm not ready yet. And then right here, I have vegetable mix, also that I got at Aldi. It comes in this bag, or I might have picked this one up at Walmart, I don't remember, but they've got the same thing at Aldi, and it's about a dollar a bag. Um, I think they have it at Walmart, Kroger, pretty much any store is going to carry this, so it's just um, California medley with broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower, and so what I do is I put water in here. And I turn it up on high and then I just let it cook down until that water evaporates and then I add um, a little bit of black pepper and butter and then back here in this pot I have some fettuccine noodles so I'm going to have fettuccine alfredo and then um, well I'm cooking that for my son and then if you like fettuccine alfredo add these vegetables to it and it will taste really great and you can even chop up this chicken and put it in there and that is delicious so you would have a fettuccine alfredo already made up as normal throw in the vegetables and then cut these pieces of chicken up and put it in and kind of stir it together and that's a really good meal but I'm trying to lose weight so I'm probably not going to have any pasta tonight um, me and my daughter just got back from the park. We went and took a walk today, and I'm trying to be healthier, trying to lose some weight. So, um, I'm just gonna stick with my meat and veggies and drink with some water, and I'll be good. Um, but I just want to jump on here right quick and show you guys this, and I'm going to, um, let this keep cooking for a little bit and then I'll come back and show you um hold on a second I'm trying to see how I was trying to look on the timer to see how many more minutes I had on this um pasta before I need to drain it. it looks like this water is almost gone so this is about good to go And I put this pasta. My daughter's on here with me. She's gonna eat pizza. 
there, so everybody was kind of eating something different tonight. Do you need help cutting that? I can cut it for you if you want to. If you want to come hold the camera, I can cut that real quick. You good? Okay. Okay. I'm going to let Sarah hold the camera real quick while I cut her pizza. So, okay. Hi guys. So over here we have the chicken sizzling so it can be done. Over here we have the vegetables, um, broccoli and carrots and I don't know what, what, yeah. Oh, that's it. And over there I do not know what that is. Dog is just covering it up. Chicken looks yummy. And that's what my mom will be having for dinner. Because my brother's a picky eater. So yeah. Yes, he is. Okay, I've got, hold, keep holding that. I've got to train this pasta. Okay. Oh, that was pasta. Oh, my chicken is burning, Cheryl. Okay, hold on. Okay, so you want it good and brown. Show them how good and brown that is. And that there is going to taste delicious. I go ahead and turn that off. Give me and that. it doesn't take long to cook that once you put it in. Maybe, um, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 5 minutes on each side. It doesn't take long. Um, you can go ahead and get your food, Sarah. Thank you for helping me. Thank you. Love you. Okay, so I'm gonna get a plate and I'm gonna go ahead and take this chicken out. It is done. I'm gonna let that little guy right there hang in there for just another minute and make sure it's um yeah, it's done. And that's my favorite kind of chicken, y'all. Of course, fried chicken is great, but you know, it's not as healthy. This is healthy. It's boneless. It's skinless. And um, it tastes really good. Okay, so the water is almost gone in there. And as soon as that water is done evaporating, I'm going to actually turn that up on high. So as soon as that water is done, I'm going to add in my butter and stir it, and then that's going to be good to go. Okay, now my noodles back here. I need to drain these noodles right quick I thought I had my drainer over here okay don't pay any attention to those dishes in the sink because I had my kitchen clean and those are just dishes that I have used since I have been in this kitchen cooking today well tonight um okay so all I do is Drain the pasta. Get all that water off. Throw these noodles back into the pan. And then I need to get me out a fork. And I'm going to add some butter. A good bit of butter. Stir it if you don't want those noodles sticking to the bottom and burning. And then I am going to get out my Alfredo sauce. I have some left over from last time that I didn't use. You just pop it in the fridge if you don't use all of it. And this time I have this four cheese Alfredo. Um, and I'm just going to pour this in. I'll give it a good stir. And I'm going to need some more. That's not enough. When it's like that, there's still some in there. What you can do is you can just throw your little water in there. Just a little bit. Because you don't want too much water in there. And then it's going to be um, runny. Just throw your little water in there and shake it up. 
and then that'll get whatever is in the bottom of that jar. And give it another stir. And I've got this down on medium heat. Um, and I'm going to add just a little more. This one is my favorite. This is the all-time favorite. Bertoli, you can get this at Kroger, Walmart, Target. It's a little bit more expensive. It's about three or four dollars a bottle, a jar rather. Um, but it's well worth it. And if you want to save some money, a good little tip is you can usually get these at Kroger for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. So a good little tip is use half of the Kroger jar and half of the Bertoli. And that'll give it a good mixture. And then that way you'll have half left over for next time. If that's something that you cook regularly at your house or frequently. And that is um, something we do at our house. My kids love fettuccine, especially my son. Okay, so the chicken is done. This, the water, as you can see, is drained. I, I mean, has um, evaporated. I don't need to drain it. So now I'm going to go in with my butter. Just going to put a little bit of butter in here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And I'm just going to let that butter melt in with these veggies. And they are going to taste delicious. And I'm just going to plate some of these up over here by my chicken. I love the carrots. I love the broccoli. And I love cauliflower. Okay. And then my pasta back here is looking mm -mm good. So I'm going to turn that off. It is done. And I'm going to get a bowl out and plate some of that up and show you guys. Okay, let me find my spoon. cooking my salt but my son does like salt so now, when my noodles are boiling I always put salt in the water and some olive oil just you know but I put a little bit of salt on top of his and then I'm going to go in here and grab some of this parmesan a parmigiano reggiano Parmigiano, Reggiano. You gotta say that every time you make pasta, okay? And that is it. Um, his chicken tenders are in here in the oven. Let's check on these. They should be done. Yeah. And this is just um, Tyson chicken tenders. Pick those up at Kroger. If you saw my food haul, you'll see those in there. They were $7.99 a bag. And I usually deep fry them, but today, since I already had the oven on for Sarah's pizza, I just went ahead and popped those on in the oven. And so he's going to have chicken tenders and fettuccine. And that's it, guys. We are done. I almost forgot to turn off my oven. And I just want to come on here and show you guys this real quick. Hopefully, this will give you a good tip if you're thinking about something easy for dinner and healthy. Um, and if you guys have any questions or you want to um, leave me a comment, just tell me what. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. He was walking in here. Um, so, anyways, that's it, guys. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great night. Bye. Thanks for watching.